My name is Ray Ball. I'm the senior veterinarian and the director of medical sciences at Lowry Park Zoo. In zoological gardens, the animals that we take care of every day are companion animals. We live with these animals. They're part of our culture. They're part of our, our city landscapes. And if you take it in that perspective, there's no reason that we shouldn't um, strive for the highest level of care in companion animals. And AHA represents that standard. We you know, have a surgery suite dedicated just for surgery. In addition to you know, preventative medicine techniques, uh, nutrition, good physical exams, you know, those kind of things, another important part of you know, any health program for managed wildlife is their social and psychological well-being, and that's where enrichment really comes into play. Another important aspect of the AHA accreditation for Tampa's Lowry Park Zoo and the veterinary department is that it adds even more credibility to our growing reputation as a regional wildlife um, resource center. Our manatee rehab program is already pretty well renowned, and we receive um, 25 manatees a year on average for the last four years. Th this morning we worked on a, a Marshall Eagle, a male Marshall Eagle. He's about eight years old. He is part of the outreach program, the animal ambassador team that we have here at Lowry Park Zoo. And then we also provide an opportunity to put these backpacks on these raptors that actually have telemetry devices that can be attached to them. So it's you know, pretty majestic to see a Marshall Eagle fly across the zoo. The message that that conveys is invaluable. Now we have a safety device that that animal carries around. So if he strays off a little bit, we know where he's at. Uh, several days ago, we were um, fortunate we had the first clouded leopard cub born at uh, Tampa's Lowry Park Zoo. Uh, it's a young pair that we've had for a few years here. So we grabbed this baby at about maybe 36 hours old. Um, the baby is fat and robust, looks fantastic. It's a little male cub, has taken right to the formula right off the bat. And um, so far, things are looking very encouraging for this little cub. I think it's important to consider um, the zoo animals or wildlife that's in managed care as companion animals. Because of you know, the social dependence that we have on them, they're important um, you know, for teaching children. They're important for people to have opportunities to experience animals. You can't experience an animal truly until you see it and smell it and see it move. Those are things that you just can't capture with uh, technology. The fact that they're living in and amongst us means that we owe them the absolute best that we can. The AHA standards that are established for companion animals already exist. So we're just trying to follow that model that exists and give that level of care to the companion animals that happen to be in a zoological garden.